most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your yes, life yes y'all i am so ugly but anyway I'm gonna look beautiful when I get done. What's up my love bugs and love muffins? That's Mama Love. And I am back with a video. And I am here with my hairstylist, Andrea. Hey everyone. Yeah, she's at Evolution Hair Company on Seven Mile and Southfield. Y'all, this is the one where y'all was asking me about my uh, hair unit. Like, I thought that was your hair. It was all curly and pretty. No, she makes these wigs. She makes them. That's the hair over there. On any type of hair that you want, take it over there. She can make that for you. Yes. Customize. Customize move. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in here getting my hair done today. And I'm getting the rinse inside this gray. And she's going to transform me into looking like this. From... I'm gonna be a beauty queen when she get out. I was nervous with everyone, but I came to her because I trusted her. I trust her and I know I'm gonna look good when I get done. So. Anyway, she's gonna be starting her own YouTube channel because she does, what do you do? Idea for special, your uh, yeah, special clients. I make clients. custom units for people with alopecia, yeah. cancer, and uh, also burn victims. So. Yes, mm -hmm. so she is the one show her um, some of her uh, work at the end of this video. Um, I'm sure she, well I have clips too, I've seen, cause she's on, she's on Facebook you all, under Andia, right Andia? How do you spell, it's spelled O-N? It's O-N-D-E-Y-I-N. Andia. I'm gonna put her name in the end and eclipse it, what she does for people with alopecia and who have cancer and they're beautiful y'all. Wouldn't, wouldn't be able to tell, I'm telling, just like how y'all couldn't tell mine, y'all couldn't even, tell that that wasn't, you know, they thought that was my hair, Andrea. Uh, okay. All that time they thought my hair was curly and pretty like that. No, I ain't got that queen hair. <laughs> I'm my daddy's child. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see who finishes. Stay tuned to the uh, next part. Okay, she in the middle of the cut, y'all. That's what she did so far. Come behind me. Uh-uh, mama. No, for real. Oh, that's nice. You too close. They can see, mama. We should have did it before and after like she said, but... Oh, we look at it. <laughs> okay, now I want my size now. You won't find me. Stay tuned. What y'all think, y'all? Look, y'all. See that there? Saw that just. Put it back up here. I'll do it. It's mine. It is. I love it. Yes, I am so happy and it's Andia, y'all. Her. <laughs> She's gonna be starting her channel. Very soon. Very soon. We're gonna get it together. Yep. And that is Jeff over there. This is the one who who uh Queen first started buying her hair from Evolution Hair Company before she moved to Houston. This is where I be coming, y'all. This is that's his daughter over there. Look at that. <laughs> This is when I become, hold on, let me on, on, take it back out. When y'all was complimenting me on my uh, hair units and my weaves and my, my wigs, this is where I was coming. She, she hand makes them. She will measure your hair out, hair head out for you and make it for you however you want it designed, however you want your part, however. It does not look like a fake closure when she's done. It actually looks like the hair is coming out your scalp, right? That's right. Right. <laughs> but this right here is mine, y'all. 
this See? line. So y'all make sure y'all come check us out at yes. Evolution Hair Company. Yes. Located on Southfield and Seven Mile Road, 17815. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm all that y'all. <laughs> I'm all that y'all. Wait till I make this face up. <laughs> y'all see how she got That's that in the back I love y'all. Hey! <laughs> I love it. I love this one. Okay. And it's, and it's real. It's not fake. It's real. It's real. <laughs> Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. And um, I just, at the end of the night, and um, it's another day, y'all. I just happened to... Had a shirt on after church. Got my hair done yesterday on a Saturday. This is Sunday night. I'm loving it, y'all. Loving the cut and everything. But um, this is what I wanted to tell y'all about her, about Andia. Um, she's a very, um, she's very attentive to her clients. And sometimes, I think on the weekends, she'll work in Battle, Battle Creek, Michigan, because you know she has a lot of clients there and things that um that really need her. As you can see in the pictures, where she really helps people, you know, with um, alopecia and you know cancer patients. As you can see in the video or the pictures that I showed, I wish I could. Have, she has videos, but I didn't know how to um you know put them on here. But um just by the pictures, you can see the happiness in her client's face. And just like even with me, when it came to, you know, cutting my hair, I was very nervous. I told her I was scared um, because I knew that I had enough hair. You know, my hair was long enough to have one of those long, flowing, bouncy bobs like I wanted. And um, y'all know the last video where I was in where I was talking about, oh, she didn't silk press my hair. Well, that wasn't her. It was, a, it was another person. I'm not going to call her name. But um, she didn't silk press my hair. But, you know, she kind of said she wanted to get some scraggly ends off after she had styled my hair. And um, she said, just a few ends in the back. So I said, go ahead. And she went around my back. And she just went to cutting and cutting and cutting. And she went up here in the front and she cut, 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 cut to where she took the, the, the piece down here that was longer, um, it was all, y'all saw my hair, it was all on my shoulder right here. Well, she took and cut it all short, left that little piece back there, and left that long in the back. I mean, she just really messed my hair up, you know what I'm saying? So, I had to get it where, let's light up under here. I had to get it where it was, um, you know, to somebody to get it even. And I wanted to keep my length as much as possible and stuff, which if I wasn't able to do, I was fine with that. As long as I had my length, you know what I'm saying, in the front, you know, and on on, on the sides. That really, really mattered to me. Right now, y'all, my hair is natural, so it's drawn up. So you put your hand inside my hair, you can feel a little mini afro in there. <laughs> so um, it's, it's, it's a nice length that she, you know, she left it. And I really like it and stuff. But what I really liked about it is, you know, a lot of um, stylists, hairstylists, they do your hair. And while they're doing it, they'll turn you from the chair. And she didn't, you know. Um, she, well, I was turned from a chair, but she handed me a big mirror. And it's like she kind of let me in on it, if I could say it that way. It's like she was like, okay, you know, when it got, you know, the wash and the blow dry and uh um, you know, the straightening of the hair and when it came time to cut, then that's when she gave me the mirror and was like, okay, you know, where you want me to start at? And how, okay, I'm gonna go around the back. I'm gonna take it longer then I'm gonna go. I was like, no, I don't care about the back. Just take the back, you know, neckline where, you know, it falls forward. And then and when it's bouncy, it does that. But, uh, she talked uh, was talking to me about, you know, concerning the top and side. She's like, it's, you got different lengths all in the back, or whatever. And, um, you know, she just basically really took her time with me. And I really appreciate her for that. You know, I just wanted to make sure I had to say this at the end because she really took her time. I've never been to a hairdresser, y'all, that has done that for me. You know, um, they saw that turned from a chair, like, I got this, I know what I'm doing. And if you say, well, can you, you know, some of the stylists act like they get aggravated with you. And they're like, well, I know what I'm doing and all this. But some of y'all stylists don't know, this is our hair. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't weave, and once you cut it, you know, you gotta wait for it to grow back. So, you know, sometimes involve your, your clients and, and stuff. They know how they want their hair. And a lot of times, you know, from experience, 
You know, I have said, okay, I have trusted a lot of hairstylists and say, go ahead, do your thing then. You know, and you tell them what you don't want. But like, I don't want it too short though. Don't take it, you know, like that or make it too long or whatever. Or I mean, make it too short where I can't have the bounce in it that I want. It's a certain type of style. Um, I'll take a um, picture, I'll show you in the phone. And you know, you tell, oh, okay, I got that. And then when they turn you away from the chair, you think that's what they doing and, and it give you a totally different style. I told you I wanted some, you know, layers up in here, wanted a feather. You I turn me around in your chair, you got my hair straight. You ain't did nothing I asked you to do. And I, and I gotta pay you at the end. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I'm saying I'm very thankful for her. And I really appreciate um, her working with me. And um, she don't know that, or well, she do know, cause she gonna be watching this video. But I mean, I want her to be my stylist. I don't know if I need to go to her every week or every two weeks, but I'm telling y'all, every time she get done styling me, she she got a tip coming, for real. She she got a tip coming every time, you know, because how attentive she was to me. She's a very caring person, and she takes her time, and I really appreciate her. Y'all, if y'all ever out uh, in the Detroit area, or if y'all live in the Detroit area, try her out. She's a um, Southfield and Seven Mile at Evolution Hair Company. Her name is Andia. Um... She's the one who made my, I told y'all, my hair units and, you know, my wigs and things. She measures your head and makes it, uh, that wig the way you want it and what color you want it and everything. So I told her the curls that I wanted, the curl pattern I said I wanted a jet black. She had that. I told her I wanted it heavy. I mean, and that's what she did, you know. And every time I have went to her, I honestly could say that I have been a satisfied customer. And from now on, it's Andia, y'all. I really appreciate her. So this one's for you, Andia. And all y'all out there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got problems. Y'all have an alopecia. Y'all hair breaking out or, you know, I recommend that you go to her. She does have a private room also in the back um, where if you don't want everybody to see your hair, you know, she'll take you off to the back. You know, like I said, she's very caring and she really takes her time and she does uh, good uh, hair weaves and, and, and uh, frontals and everything. Else. But at the same time, she, she, she's very, um, good with natural hair too, because you know, you have a lot of stylists that's good with, uh, natural hair versus that they, they, they're used to doing weave or, or then vice versa. But she's, she's good at both. So she specializes in healthy hair and also, um, and your weave and installments and things like that. So give her a shout out. Like I said, Andia, um, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. So, I'm gonna end this video, y'all. What I gotta do is go, yeah, this little hair. Like I, said. I just love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I'm silly, y'all, but I'm tired at the same time. So, and I get silly when I get tired. So, peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.